Hello there, it's Paul here and welcome along everyone. For those who follow me, you will probably notice that I have the Axe Minister SK100 Chuck on my lathe. And over the last, what, three years since I've been turning, I've been slowly building up the quantity of jaws I have. So Now the Chuck comes with the standard C-type jaws and over that time, if you include the two adapters which come with the O'Donnell jaws, I believe I have something like about eight different sets of jaws that I could possibly use. I'm currently working on a project which has got these segmented rings and I'm going to need to ideally hold these from the centre. The size that I've got to turn these down to means that I've either got to have my C jaws really extended to literally their max and it means that the jaws will be really out as far as they can go so they won't be have a proper hold on the whole jaw. So the only other way around that I've got is that a little while ago I purchased these wood plate jaws and I went for the 100mm size and I may regret that wishing I'd gone for the 150mm size but hopefully these are still going to be quite flexible for what I want. Now with these jaws what you get, you get four jaws like this and they're held on by these two centre holes here with the ordinary bolts onto the chuck just like you would do with all the other jaws. But the other four holes in here means that you can screw a piece of wood on here. Now what I've done, I've got some 18mm MDF here left over from a, another project I was working on in the house. And I've cut these all to 100mm square. And the idea is that I'm going to pre-drill four holes in the corners here so that I can mount it on the corner like that. One thing you have to really remember with these is so that you've got so that you can put them on and off the chuck easy enough, you need to make sure that these two holes are ideally visible through this piece of wood. So because this is going to be on the back like that, it will be screwed this piece of wood will be screwed on from the back here with these four outer holes. But when I want to bolt it onto the chuck, I've got to use these two inner holes and it's got to be bolted from the other side. So ideally, I then need to make sure that the two holes for there, I have drill holes right through the MDF so they're accessible from this side. MDF being so hard, you really do need to pre-drill pilot holes. So I'm going to mark all those on the back of these four. I'm going to drill them on my pillar drill so that they're all as accurate as possible. And then I will get these ready so that they're fixed on there. Now I've just drilled all the holes on the back on each of these now so we have the four pilot holes for where this is going to be mounted onto the jaw and then I've drilled two 10 mil holes which is where the hex bolt will go through to then attach this to the chuck so at least this way it's fully accessible from the front. The next job I'm going to do is I'm going to just put an arc on each of these like that and I'm just going to take the bulk of this off on the bandsaw so that then once I get these mounted onto these jaw plates and then onto the chuck itself I can put it on the lathe and then I can hopefully true up this as one complete circle. Now it's also important to make sure you mark up your jaw numbers. So I have also put a mark at the moment on each of these for which relates to which jaw number. So that at least they'll always go onto the chuck in the right way. Now I've just cut all these out on the bandsaw so that they're roughly round. And I just now need to make sure I put the corresponding jaw onto these new plates and as you can see I now have labelled these up properly one two three four and I can then make sure I've got the jaws the right way as well and the important thing as well was to make sure that the jaws even though the number one is this side are turned over because the bolts that come through here to affect to fix the whole jaws onto the chuck need to sit in this side so they have got to go what looks to be upside down. So I'm going to try and get these as accurately as possible on here. I 
hopefully my screw holes are fairly well lined up and I can make sure the jaws go on as accurate as possible. That's all the jaws attached to the first plates now. And they can now be fixed to the chuck. It's now a case of fitting these on. If I've got my holes lined up properly, then these should fit on nice and easily. And it might be easier to drop those in the holes first, rather than feed them through afterwards. And just making sure that jaw one goes onto jaw one. So they're all on there nice and loose at the minute. If I then tighten the jaws up, just use a longer chuck key. Hopefully I have the jaw plates themselves all touching, which I do. And then I can then just tighten these up. So that's how easy it is to fit the jaws. Now that's a little bit out of balance. So I'm just going to true up this outside edge now. So that's now all trued up and they're ready for use. What I'll do next is I will properly put some screw holes outside on the outside here, probably a couple here on each side. And then that way I can attach another piece of wood on top. I should take these off again now and I will then drill holes at this distance and then I can at least attach another piece of wood on top rather than having to ruin these every time. So I have put some 5mm holes in here as well now. I've also countersunk the backs of these so that when I put screws in from the back they do sit flush or below flush with the back. And just to give an example here, you can literally put on here what you like. What I put on here now will be something that's as a temporary surface, something that we turned away. The only thing I've got to be wary of is where those screw holes come through so that I don't hit a screw if I'm taking this down too far. Now I've also just opened these up a fair bit on the jaw sizes here because then it's easier for me to get to the back to screw these in. So I'm just give, going, to give, going to give an example here. Um, and again, I could have put some more down the middle here so that they're more central. I don't think it makes too much of a difference uh, because you're going to have the same sort of force coming out. And this is just pine. So that's an ideal softwood. not left-handed so this is a bit more difficult so that's those fitted on so i've got this closed down i can then decide to take this down roughly to where i want it so if i take this down somewhere around there 
I should then have something fairly central to Now safely mount that on there and work on there. So the wood jaw plates, hopefully you can see how versatile these are. If you create your own main plate to go on there like I've done with the MDF, you can soon attach what you like on there. This is just for one project, quick idea. I can mount the segmented rings on here. I can then flatten them with a sand and board and they're then ready to, to be glued up. Whether I turn them on this as well, I don't know. I'll just have to see. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you in the next project video.